In this video we share impressions on the fantastic Waldorf Astoria DIFC. It's coming up. We are back to the Waldorf Astoria Dubai International Financial Center or DIFC. We wanted to give it another try when it's not fully booked. So here we are again. The location is halfway between the Conrad and Burj Khalifa, so great for sightseeing in any direction. When you enter the building, follow the Waldorf Astoria signs to find the elevators in the back. The lobby and check-in area are on floor 18, where we also start with the restaurant Bull and Bear one of the highlights of this property. One thing I remembered from last time was the perfect ice cube with the Waldorf logo on it, so I had to get one of those drinks again. And of course, the food was awesome as well. But not only the main dishes were great, also the desserts are fantastic. Although we had to fight a bit, as the amount of chocolate is insane. But let's go to the other side, past the check-in area and go up to our room. The hotel participated in the automated upgrade three days in advance, which upgraded us to a King Premier room and the night before arrival we were upgraded once more to this King Premier suite. This time everything was working properly. The mail in advance arrived in time and the communication was very friendly. And there was also a welcome gift this time. A box with dates was already waiting in the room when we arrived and after we came back to the room few hours later also pralines and nuts were provided. In the living room you also find a coffee machine and a filled minibar and everything looks as impressive as we remembered it from our previous visit. Now let's move from the living room to the bedroom. It's a great room with a very comfortable Waldorf Astoria bed and in this hotel there is still a turndown service provided in the evening. The master bathroom offers two sink and a super large rain shower with a separated bathtub. The amenities changed from Salvatore Ferragamo to aromatherapy but I am not sure if this will stay or if they will adopt the World of Astoria standard. Let's see. Additionally, there is a small bathroom between your two rooms. And the view from up here is great with the Burj Khalifa view. The illumination by sunlight is superb in the late afternoon. Let's get a quick look into the King Premier room we had last time. Smaller, yes, but still pleasant with very nice decoration around. What else can you do here? Of course there is a peacock alley with a signature clock. And as our room wasn't ready at our early arrival, they invited us to a cup of coffee while waiting. Highly appreciated. In the back there is a separated cigar lounge which was almost full in the evening. And finally the pool area. Here you have different possibilities of lying in the sun, enjoying the skyline or chilling in the shadow. And you can also enjoy some drinks and snacks at the pool bar. There is always the question, this world of Astoria or the Conrad around the corner? The Conrad impresses with an awesome executive lounge and the larger pool area. This Waldorf, however, 
has slightly nicer rooms and the more impressive restaurant. But that's all a matter of personal taste, so tell me in the comments below which one you like more. Finally, the breakfast. High class selection, which is always a pleasure to enjoy. Not only inside, but also outside with awesome views. Stay tuned for impressions from a new Spanish Hilton resort on the island of Mallorca, the Hilton Mallorca Galazzo. See you out there. You're Alex from GaiaDreams.com.